Now I'm going to take you up to a little town called Kagawang and we're going to go visit a waterfall that's up that way. There's a really uh, wonderful waterfall here. It's called Bridal Veil Falls. And you can actually park, there's a parking lot right at the mouth of the falls itself. Or you can continue on down the road about a kilometer and take a little hiking trail through the woods. It's a little two kilometer round trip. And we'll go check out Bridal Veil Falls in Kagawang, Manitoulin Island. Here is a look at some millstones like most waterfalls in pioneering days they use that as a source of energy to turn water wheels what would turn those great big stones to grind up wheat and other sorts of grains and this waterfall they actually also harness to produce electricity and i think all of that is still here yep actually i think i hear the generating station down here Yep, so there it is. Okay, so they still have it. Here you can see this is where they would be funneling the water down. So they intercept the, the water before it goes over the falls and then they funnel it down this big tube. It goes in here, spins the turbine and that's how they produce electricity. So the actual flow, when we get to the falls, the flow that's going over the falls is only a fraction of what typically would have been going over the falls. Okay, lots of poison ivy in there. Stay on the trail. Oh yeah, it's loaded. You know, one of the most beautiful features of Manitoulin Island, the abundance of cedar trees. The first time I came to Manitoulin Island, I had never seen so many thick stands of cedar forest uh, in my life. It smells so good on Manitoulin Island. So easy to distinguish as well by the foliage that they grow. Not sure what that's all about. Abstract deer art in the middle of the woods. Well, friends, here's a look at Bridal Vale Falls. There's a little duck out there swimming. Let's go take a look from behind the falls. Got a little wet, but it was worth every drop. <laughs> 